Hey guys, Lee H here, aka Criterium Racer, and today just got back up from uh, Denver, up the back up the mountain. Went to saw Red Hot Chili Peppers last night. That was a fun little show. Had great tickets down there on the floor. Anyway, so I stopped into my two favorite stores, about two blocks apiece. One's the '80s store that has over 300 packs of non-sport car, different non-sports cars. Then, of course, the car shop had to stop in there and pick up a few little things. So let's start off with the non-sport, get over to what I picked up on the sports side. So, great, like I said, great shops, um, totally awesome, 80s, huge non-sport car collector. So, uh, I, I pulled the trigger just to support the local business. He only wanted about five bucks more than, you know, what was going on eBay. But this is a Series 3 Star Wars original pack. They had, a, you know, three quarters of a box. I ended up, you know, be able to pick up what one I looked the best, the best centered, you know, the gum is moving around. Um, it's a great looking pack, pretty expensive pack to add to my collection, but I wanted to support them. So this is one of my, this is my big pickup right off the bat. So we got Star Wars, third series, 1977. Well, and Retro Hero, I saw this on one of his videos, so I had to go down there. Uh, top spinning image, made in Ireland. Um, 1988, 1990, uh, you can tell by the grams right there, but yeah, made in Ireland, um, great little pack up to add to my collection of weird stuff, and let's see what else pack I picked up there, I didn't have the terrorist attra attacks, um, cards either, this is early, um, 86, so that's it, I didn't have that one, I was kind of feeling around. Next one up is going to be pair Garbage Bell Kids. It said I'm going to start collecting a few more of these here and there. Pick up the OS original series. Uh, they had this one at a reasonable price at that. 80s non-sport cars. Uh, about the same price they're selling on eBay. I picked it up at that store. This is a weird one. I believe this is from 1983. It was made by Topps. You won't, I've never seen this pack before. It's pretty um, fun. Cat stickers. That's right. 1983 Tops Cat Stickers. They make cards of everything. I wonder how well these would sell right now. Um, and having Tops um, doing that. But yeah, great little pack. Didn't see that. I had to pull the trigger on that. I didn't even look how rare these things suckers are yet. But fun little card there. And they always throw in random, you know, trading cards. Pixie sticks into your order. All right. So, great little pickup, especially that Star Wars one. Uh, let's see what I picked up the baseball card shop. Nothing was quite catching my interest. I did pick up this. Don't look at the price. Highly off-centered, but me and off-centered, I don't really care. The Cecil Cooper rookie card. Um, guess I'm more of a Cecil Cooper than a Carlton Fist, but nonetheless, a great rookie card. Very sharp corners. Very bright colors. Highly off-centered, highly miscut, but I didn't have this in my collection. You know, I, I needed this. It's been a long time since I got a feeling this card is going to be harder and harder to find in, in any kind of condition. So, picked up that great Hall of Fame rookie card. And Cecil Cooper was a killer player. And this card, next card, I need like a hole in the head. Another 1966 Bobby Yuka card. He doesn't have many cards, so this was just really sharp. Um, the, the, sh the corners are re a tiny, tiny miffed up in that corner. Extremely sharp. It's off center. Colors are popping on this one. The bright, the back is so bright on this one. Um, a little center. This is a card I might send away for PSA just to see what I can get. You know, I've been kind of, I haven't sent any cards to, you know, PSA or SGC. I'm starting to make a little collection. I, I I just thought it was too good. They gave me too good a deal for me to not go back on. But this card in 1966 came in two variations. This is the rarer one. This has a no trade one. So um, if you look at 66 Bob Euchers, it says it got traded to the Philadelphia Phillies right here on that little line. These are a little bit harder to find for the 66. All right. Yeah. You know, I see a Bobby Euchre in that kind of condition for that kind of price. I got to pick it up, even though with a non-traded one, I probably only have six or eight of them. So, yeah, we picked up some Series 2 hobby, along with some Bowman, you know, 
Probably I'll stash some of these away. I haven't opened Series 2 yet. Thought I'd give it a little bit of a rip here. See what I end up with. Yeah, the, uh, the Walmart up here in the mountains used to have some of the best selection of cards I could get at all. At all. Tons of them. Any kind. Anywhere, anything I wanted. And that just dried up uh, last year. So I haven't been able just to stop in Walmart and get anything I've wanted here. So bear with me. Um, not 100%. I see a lot of you guys open stuff. Uh, Yuli Guerrero. <laughs> I mispronounced that one. Jordan Lies. X Burr right there. Miguel Rojas. Charlie Barnes. Rookie card. It's a pitcher. I think he's a good pro. Um, yeah, he's a good prospect, but he's still a pitcher. Uh, let's see Alex Verdugo. And Aaron Nola. Kyle Overton. And, and I love 87 tops, but it's almost overplayed. With the George Brett right there, all-star card. It's a good-looking card. Uh, 1980s batting lever. When he hit th in 1980, you know, it's a, you know, 87 design, 390 average. Awesome there. Followed up by Cecil Cooper. Second in, in AL batting. Look at that. Told you Cecil was a monster for those of you guys who didn't know. He had 352. And was second. All right. Gold Cup card of Dil Dylan Carlson. Good old Just Justin Verlander. Oh, God. Yeah, I got in one of the worst bike wrecks I've ever had. Ah, so I got busted up ribs. That's why I'm moaning and stuff like that. Big open gash on my head also. Oh. And I don't, anyways, the, the the race I'm entered, the hardest mountain bike race I've entered in, is in three weeks, and uh, my ribs are not going to be ready for any kind of decent time. I'd be lucky to finish it. All right. No monster on that one. Eh, let's open another pack. Actually, eh, junk wax there, too, for a buck a pack. I think they threw these in. Let's open the monster set, 1992 um, studio made by Don Russ with the fun facts in the back. I'll probably just squirrel those away for a rainy day. Just kind of pick up back or two, support the local shop, which is Bill's down in Bill's Collectible down on Broadway in Denver. Paul O'Neill tipping the cap. Let's see up close. Hobbies include music, tennis, and golf. Big Rolling Stone guy. Seen those guys too. That's a killer show. So next show I got lined up after this race. I got back to back days. One's going to be Peter Hook from Joy Division doing both albums. Um, early alternative music. You know he's a new um, New Order also. Pretty excited to see that. And the next day I got about eighth row floor seats for Roger Waters. So hopefully I can catch a guitar pick from Pink Floyd. Should be a fun show. Someone surprised me with a ticket for that. I'm not going to pass up floor seats by any stretch of the imagination. Hubie Brooks, eh, one of his last years, he was de-aging by then. I wonder what his hobbies are. His favorite singer is James Brown. Loved his show. Man, I, I saw him a couple times back in the day. <clears throat> Hardest working sh um, person in show business. And he was in a full Stars and Stripes jumpsuit and jumping around. Joe Girardi, sorry I'm going off onto tangent on music and stuff like that. I apologize. Um, yep, so seeing that good old Daryl Strawberry with the the uh, Dodgers right there. Let's we'll see what that juiced up guy did. He's a bowler. And he loves Luther Vandross. <laughs> I love back-to-back -back, uh, movies. Favorite movie is Scarface, followed by favorite book is the Bible. Jesus Christ. No kidding, Daryl Strawberry's favorite movie would be Scarface. And Brent Main, Tim Wallach, which is pretty underrated. Made a few all-star teams. And Hall way to finish it out would be Hall of Famer, Robin Yell. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the ridiculousness of um, Top's Cats. Looking for a Series 2 coming out any year now.